I'm over here at Google and if I type in a search phrase, let's say contact lenses, Google's telling me here that there is 11.3 million pages that it knows about relating to contact lenses. Now, a lot of keyword research tools will say, okay, for Google, you've got 11.3 million competing web pages. And that would put a lot of people off, as it should do, if 11.3 is correct. However, 11.3 million is not really your true competition. If a web page is really your competition, then it's been optimized, hasn't it? Now, these 11.3 million pages will not have all been optimized for this term contact lenses. Now, different people use different techniques. The two most popular are to type in a modifier, if I can get it right, all in title, contact lenses. And what this does basically is it finds all of the web pages that have the word contact and lenses in the title of the document. Now, if a web page is optimized for contact lenses, you would expect that term to appear in the title, wouldn't you? If the web page has been properly optimized, you would actually expect that term to appear in an inbound link to the web page. So, all in anchor is perhaps a favored way of finding out exactly how much competition you've got. And f from there, we've got four and a half million pages that have a link pointing to them with the word contact lenses in the link. So does that mean that that's the competition? Well, not really, because what I want to show you now is a way to find a closer evaluation of your true competition. So first things first, let's just go back to the standard search contact lenses. And sure enough, Google's telling us 11.3 million competing pages. Well, let's go over to the advanced search and click on 100 results. So we're now shown 100 results per page. And we can scroll to the bottom of this and click on the last number, 10. And look what happens. In fact, Google says there's 11.2 million pages here but it's only showing 601 to 644. If we scroll to the bottom, you can read this bit. In order to show you the most relevant results, we have admitted some entries very similar to the 644 that already displayed. That means that Google values those 644 and suggests those are the most relevant for the search contact lenses. The other 11 million are not adding anything to this group of search results. So I would like to suggest that your true competition then is 644, about 600 pages, not 11.2 million pages. Because actually you've only got to beat these 644 pages because Google doesn't really think the other, page, the other 11 million pages are worth beating anyway. They're not worth showing in the main index. You could of course refine this if you wanted. You could do all in title contact lenses and then repeat but generally I tend to see very similar results there we've got 719 relevant pages with contact lenses in the title and you could do it with all in anchor scroll to the bottom and there we are 706 pages personally I don't even bother with the all in title or the, or the or, all in URL. Go simply to the search term, go to the last page, and get a rough idea of the true competition. For pretty much any phrase you look at in Google, your true competition is likely to be less than a thousand. And the, the, the first step in getting your page at the top of Google is to make sure that your page is included in this batch of, in this case, 645 pages. Once you're in that batch of 645, you can work on getting that page up the rankings, getting more links to it, um, more authority to your site, and so on. But the first step is to ensure that your page gets within that 645. Let's just take another example, because I can show you that what I'm showing you here is relevant to all searches. Here's another example of stigmatism. Scroll to the bottom, onto the last page. 511 pages. Let's have car insurance. There we are, 91.9 million competing pages. If we go 
to the last page, we see that actually Google is only rating 675 of those pages. So that is your true competition. It doesn't matter how competitive you market. Seven hundred and fifty eight for dental care. Seven hundred and twelve for dental insurance. Let's try a, an interesting one. Okay, so even for Google, two hundred and ninety eight when in fact. It originally reported a very large number, 1,920 million pages for Google. So I think I've shown you there that the first step in getting your page into the search results of Google and at the top of the search results of Google is to actually get it into the batch that Google thinks is relevant. If you want to find out how to maximize your chances of getting into that group, that elite group of pages that Google thinks are relevant and are quality, then you need to look out for my newsletter next week. That's newsletter 276 because I'll be sharing a PDF file with you in that that shows you exactly what you need to do in order to make sure you have the best chance of being recognized by Google as a quality piece of content.